We know very well that American submarines have headed west from Pearl Harbor. If American submariners are wise, you will turn back. Certain death awaits you over here. And now I'll play for you unfortunate Americans a popular recording. One week after Pearl Harbor, the Atsutsu San Maru, 8,663 tons, became the first victim of an American sub. A dubious honor. It wasn't long before she had plenty of company at the bottom of the ocean. On the 1st of January, the 5,384-ton Canaan Maru was sunk right off the very coast of Japan. But those early days were tough. Just look at the vast amount of territory the Japs overran in no time at all. Naturally, they wanted to consolidate, keep all that loot from the conquered territories pouring into Japan. Fuel, oil, rubber, coal, iron, rice. It was our job to see that most of that loot didn't get there. And for 18 months, our subs were the only ships that penetrated enemy-controlled sea lanes. It was rugged, but it paid off. Let the Japs tell you about it. American submarines in 1942 sank 134 Japanese merchant ships, totaling 580,000 or 390 tons, and 140,000 tons of men of war. But that was only beginning. Yes, only the beginning. Even newly commissioned subs got big scores. For instance, the trigger. Her story starts in Mare Island. That's the way she looked to me the first time I ever saw her. I was reported as mess attendant. Got to be off as cook first class time I was transferred. She didn't look like nothing much to me right then. Just a lot of pipe and steel. No life, no spirit. But I felt a little better when I saw the galley. Small but clean, the latest in devices. A man sure could get a mess of cooking done in there. But all in all, I sure felt let down. I said to myself, man, what possessed you to volunteer for the subservice anyhow? Next time you keep your big mouth shut. I began to feel a little better though about the trigger when we got underway. There was just something about it. Well, by the time we reached Pearl, the trigger and me was friends. She sure won me over. How'd you do it? Well, well, I tell you, shippers. Well, it's like our exec says. He says. I don't find it any easier than the steward to put into words what I feel about the trigger. I think it's that all ships have sold, and all sailors know it. But it takes a while to learn to commune with it. It took me quite some time. But when it happened, it was our first patrol and our first kill. Off the eastern coast of Kyushu, a good-sized freighter. Clear the bridge. Take her down before we're spotted. That baby might mount enough guns to blast us to kingdom come. Take her down. That's the character. Now let's take a look to see if she spotted us. Everything looks normal from here, if it isn't a trap. She might be a Q-ship carrying depth charges and sound gear. We can't hit her till we close the range. To close the range, we've got to watch out that she doesn't see or hear us, or the killer will become the corpse. The minutes seem like hours until we get into position. Easy, easy, then... Estimated range, 1,500 yards, track 90 port, dial angle 5 left, stand by. He's coming on, coming on, fire one! Then, 8 seconds, fire two! I'm 
of age, but she was soon to face her first ordeal. Death charging. Several nights later, we heard Tokyo Rose on our radio. 